Avcı Kurt is the latest robot dog developed by a Turkish company for use in military operations. This robot is equipped with automatic weapons and is designed to perform tasks such as laser targeting for Turkey's unmanned aerial vehicles. The robot dog can traverse various types of terrain thanks to advanced navigation and stealth movement systems. This makes it an effective tool for reconnaissance and support in combat operations, where human presence might be dangerous or impossible. The robot's armament includes automatic weapons, allowing Avjakurt to actively participate in combat and hit targets with high precision. The laser targeting system mounted on the robot provides accurate guidance for drone strikes, significantly enhancing the effectiveness of joint operations. During its initial test trials, Avjakurt demonstrated high accuracy and reliability in performing combat tasks. The Turkish company Asilsan has developed a combat robot named Sarbot, designed to perform various tasks in combat conditions, such as reconnaissance, fire support, and explosive ordnance disposal. This robot combines advanced technologies with a high degree of autonomy, making it a powerful tool on the battlefield. Sarbot boasts excellent mobility, allowing it to navigate complex terrain effectively. It is equipped with state-of-the-art surveillance and navigation systems, including high-definition cameras and thermal imagers, providing excellent vision in all conditions. The robot also has powerful sensors and radars capable of detecting threats at long distances. The robot has a maximum speed of 25 km per hour on flat surfaces and can operate autonomously for up to 8 hours. Sarbot weighs around 200 kg. Its armament includes machine guns and grenade launchers, enabling it to engage targets at significant distances effectively. Its high level of protection makes Sarbot resistant to gunfire and explosions, and its autonomous functions allow it to plan routes and execute tasks without operator intervention. The Turks have introduced a true breakthrough in the field of unmanned robotic machines. The Turkish combat robot Barkan has learned to fire mini rockets called MEAT. The robot was adopted by the Turkish army in the summer of 2023 after successful field tests. During these tests, the robot successfully utilized the Roketsin rocket system with laser guidance, also known as MEAT. The robot launched a rocket at a static target and hit it. The MEAT rocket has a caliber of 40 millimeters and a range of one kilometer. The robot can also be equipped with 5.56 mm and 7.62 mm machine guns. Additionally, the robot can be used for bomb disposal, providing chemical, biological, radiological protection, cargo delivery, towing, reconnaissance, mapping, and rescue operations. The manufacturer also claims that Barkin can be used both independently and as part of a drone swarm meaning it can be deployed in joint operations with other ground and aerial vehicles. The Turkish company Electroland Defense, which manufactures military robotic machines, has introduced an interesting development called Bogac. This robot is designed to evacuate the wounded during battle. It is a self-propelled electrified platform with remote control. Together with another platform on tracks, it approaches the injured soldier. The tracked platform grabs the soldier by the belt or clothing using a crane manipulator. Then it transfers the person to inflatable stretchers, which are then winched onto the wheeled platform. A special operator remotely controls all of this from cover. Electroland Defense's development allows medics and military personnel to remain safe and unharmed while evacuating the wounded from the battlefield. The developers have assured that this concept of wounded evacuation is the first of its kind in the world. Electroland Defense worked in coordination with the country's security agencies, taking into account their experience and needs. The combat robot Alpar was introduced by the Turkish company Otakar in 2023 and is a heavy unmanned ground combat vehicle. Alpar is designed to perform a variety of tasks, including reconnaissance, fire support, logistical support, air defense, and anti-tank warfare. This robot weighs up to 15 tons and is equipped with an autonomous control system and artificial intelligence, 
which allows it to reduce risks for personnel and increase task efficiency. It is armed with a 30mm cannon and OMTAS anti-tank missiles developed by Roketsen. The robot can operate in both fully autonomous and remotely controlled modes. Notable features of Alpar include a low thermal signature, the ability to be transported by planes and helicopters, and rapid battery replacement. The robot is equipped with a hybrid electric drive system, providing a range of up to 500 kilometers in hybrid mode and up to 50 kilometers in fully electric mode. The combat robot Hanser, developed by the Turkish company Electroland Defense, is a medium-class unmanned ground vehicle. Hanser was created as part of Turkey's project to develop unmanned ground vehicles and is characterized by high off-road capability and maneuverability, allowing it to operate effectively in challenging terrains. This robot is equipped with a remote weapon control system, making it suitable for various combat tasks, including reconnaissance and fire support. Hanser has a payload capacity of up to 500 kilograms and can operate autonomously for up to six hours after three hours of charging. The control range is up to 1,500 meters. The robot is equipped with a tracked movement system, allowing it to overcome vertical slopes of up to 60 degrees, side slopes of up to 30 degrees, and trenches up to 60 centimeters wide. Hanser can be equipped with a 7.62 millimeters machine gun or a 40 millimeter grenade launcher, enhancing its firepower and versatility on the battlefield. Ankabot is one of the latest Turkish military robots developed to enhance the operational capabilities of the Turkish armed forces. It is an autonomous or remotely controlled robot equipped with advanced technologies to ensure high efficiency on the battlefield. Ankabot is fitted with a powerful artificial intelligence system that allows it to make decisions independently and adapt to changing battlefield conditions. It can be equipped with various types of weapons, such as machine guns or grenade launchers, as well as surveillance and reconnaissance systems. The robot can move at speeds of up to 30 kilometers per hour, with an autonomous operating time of up to eight hours. In case of a loss of communication, Ankabot is capable of returning to base independently or continuing to execute the assigned mission. Additionally, the robot is equipped with night vision and thermal detection systems, enabling it to effectively perform tasks in any lighting and weather conditions. The combat robot UCAP is Turkey's first unmanned armed vehicle, developed by Katmersiller in collaboration with Aselsan. UCAP is designed for various military tasks, including infantry fire support, ammunition transportation, and the evacuation of wounded soldiers from the battlefield. The robot was first presented at the IDEF 2017 exhibition. UCAP is equipped with the SARP Remote Controlled Weapon Station from Aselsan, which supports firing on the move, day and night modes, and automatic target tracking. The weapon station can be fitted with a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The dimensions of UCAP are 2 meters in length, 1.8 meters in width, and 1 meter in height, with a weight of 1.1000 kilograms. Its compact size and low thermal signature make it ideal for covert movement in challenging conditions. UCAP can also be used for logistical tasks and reconnaissance without risking personnel lives, making it a valuable asset for the Turkish armed forces. Write in the comments which of the Turkish military robots shown in this video did you like the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Goodbye.